Is adopting two dogs at once a good idea? Welcome to the cat and dog house, where we help cat and dog owners better understand their pets. I'm Susan Nilsson and in this video, I'll be talking about whether it's a good idea to adopt two dogs at the same time, including potential hurdles to overcome, and how to maximize success with your puppy or older dog pair. If you're thinking about adding a new dog or puppy to your family, you may be considering adopting not just one, but two at once. It's certainly a tempting thought. After all, who doesn't want double the cuddles and fun? However, adopting two dogs at the same time comes with its unique set of challenges, so it's important to carefully consider whether you're prepared to handle this added responsibility. Having adopted both a bonded pair and two adult dogs who didn't know each other, I can vouch for the fact that having multiple dogs can be a lot of work, but it can also make life easier in some respects. But let's start with puppies. Puppies can be exhausting at the best of times, in a good way, of course. For this reason, many professional dog trainers tend to discourage adopting two at once, largely because it requires significant extra work to raise them into well-adjusted, well-socialized, and well-behaved dogs. It also means twice the chaos and stress, and it's easy to become overwhelmed. Not to mention the disturbed nights during the potty training phase. Training a single puppy requires considerable time, energy, and patience. If you add a second pup into the mix you might find their training and socialization processes compete for your time and attention, leading to an inconsistent training regimen and insufficient socialization. Additionally, individual dogs tend to learn at different rates and may develop different needs, making it challenging to provide individualized training and meet their needs simultaneously. With two puppies in your home, it's essential to teach them good manners from the beginning. Puppy training needs to be consistent, and the dogs need to learn good manners and basic cues, like sit, stay, wait, come, drop it, and leave it. Consistency is key in ensuring your puppies develop good manners and maintain positive behavior. This includes establishing a regular feeding schedule, potty breaks, and separate training sessions. Puppies tend to develop strong bonds with each other, often to the exclusion of their human family members. This can make it difficult to train and socialize them separately, potentially resulting in under-socialized and untrained dogs, if you don't handle things carefully. While it's not impossible to successfully adopt littermates, it requires extra effort and attention to ensure their proper socialization and independent development. Puppies who are trained and socialized separately tend to develop better overall behavior and coping skills than those raised together constantly. So make an effort to take each puppy on solo walks, provide unique experiences, and use separate areas for sleep and alone time. This not only fosters individual development but also helps to prevent overdependence on the puppy's sibling. In terms of investment, adopting two dogs means double the responsibility, time, effort, and financial commitment in terms of adoption fees and future expenses. Remember, you'll need to provide dog food, shelter, toys, gear, grooming, routine vet checkups, and vaccinations for both dogs for the next 15 years or so, hopefully. On top of that, the dogs will need an ongoing training schedule, sufficient exercise, and mental stimulation. So consider whether you have the time, energy, and resources to ensure the dogs will receive the care and attention they need to thrive. Separation anxiety is something else to consider. While some dogs are more predisposed to developing separation anxiety, there are steps you can take early on to try to preempt and prevent it. Teach each puppy to relax in his own space while the other is being trained or handled separately. Each dog should be taught to tolerate some time away from their sibling and become comfortable with being apart, even if they can still see each other. Make sure you provide individual attention and one-on-one -on -one time for both dogs to help prevent excessive attachment to one another. Set aside time for one-on-one -on -one interactions like training sessions, walks, and playtime to help build a strong bond with each dog and promote independence. It's not always feasible to bring both puppies to every appointment, whether it's for veterinary care, grooming services, or something else. To avoid separation anxiety, try scheduling appointments for each dog simultaneously, or try to minimize the time they spend apart for these tasks. If separation is unavoidable, ensure the dog left at home is already used to being alone for short periods of time and, importantly, can cope with it. If he can't cope you will almost certainly see the signs. 
Common separation anxiety behaviors include excessive barking or howling, urinating or defecating indoors, destruction of objects or property, chewing shoes, bedding, clothing, or furniture, digging, pacing, and trying to escape. If you have seen the beginnings of any of these behaviors in your puppy when left alone, I recommend consulting with a certified canine separation anxiety specialist. Another thing to consider is that, as your dogs age, one will almost certainly pass away before the other. To help the surviving dog cope with this difficult change, it's important to have spent plenty of time introducing experiences where he is alone so he can learn to cope with his sibling being absent. The term littermate syndrome has been used to describe a range of behavioral issues that are sometimes observed in sibling dogs raised together. Despite its prevalence if you search online, there isn't actually any scientific evidence to support littermate syndrome as a unique behavioral disorder. However, it is important to consider genetic factors and potential behavioral issues among siblings raised together. To try to avoid such issues, you could always consider adopting puppies from different litters at slightly different times and adding in the second puppy once the first one has settled in. While it is widely believed that siblings are more prone to aggression, abnormal bonding, and poor human interactions, again, no scientific evidence supports these claims. While there is some anecdotal evidence of behavior problems in littermates, people report a range of different experiences. The bottom line seems to be that not all sibling dogs will develop abnormal social behaviors, especially if you follow the guidelines in this video. Be aware too that separation anxiety is a serious condition that should not be mistaken for littermate syndrome in any shape or form. Up till now, I've talked a lot about puppies but what about if you want to adopt two adult dogs at once? In fact, it's largely the same, especially if you adopt a bonded pair. But if like me, you adopt two dogs who have never met, then you will also need to go through a careful introduction process. When introducing a pair of dogs who don't know each other, it is important to manage the home environment carefully and prioritize safety. During this time, it's important to monitor both dogs closely, provide plenty of positive reinforcement and ensure that they each get enough exercise, attention, mental stimulation, and downtime. One of the key insights I've gained from adopting multiple dogs is the importance of providing each dog with his own space in different rooms. These could be a spare room or any quiet area in the home, each of which should be equipped with their own bed, toys, and treats. By giving each dog his own quiet place, you can help to minimize any potential conflicts and keep each dog calm and relaxed. When adopting two dogs, it's important to look at things like breed compatibility, age, and temperament. Bringing home two dogs with compatible personalities will make it easier for them to bond and create a calmer home environment. I'm going to be honest though, on the two occasions I adopted two dogs together, I didn't do any of that. Instead, I adopted the two dogs that most needed a home. Either because they'd been in the shelter the longest, or because they had some sort of physical or behavioral issue that potential adopters probably wouldn't want to deal with. Nevertheless, it's good advice. So here are some tips to help you choose the right pair. First, get to know the dogs. Spend time with potential adoptees to observe their behavior, energy levels, and unique personalities. Second, while it's not necessary to have identical types or breeds, selecting dogs with comparable energy levels will ensure that they can keep up with each other. Third, consider adopting an older dog and a younger dog. This pairing tends to work well since the older dog can help guide and mentor the younger, more energetic pup. Finally, ask the experts. Speak with shelter staff or a certified dog trainer and canine behavior expert to get their insights on how certain dogs may get along with each other. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on cat and dog behavior. For more in-depth content about cat and dog behavior, check us out at catanddoghouse.com.